Hey everybody, welcome to another Plum Crazy Adventure. We are so excited. Uh, in honor of Mother's Day, Nikki and I decided that we're gonna take you along for one of our mommy and son days. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit chilly here, so we probably won't be playing in the water, but uh, we're gonna explore Fall Run Park. We are so excited about that. As you can see, he cannot wait. And uh, gonna do a couple of other things. Gonna go have some lunch and maybe check out another one of our favorite playgrounds. So make sure that you stay tuned for our Mom and Sunday. Right off of the parking lot, they do have this really cute sign, Fall Run Park, if you wanted to get a photo with that. And then right behind it, they do have some picnic tables this year. This is all new, as is the railing that they have right there, the fence line, which Nick is leaning against, which I think is awesome that they put that in, because that is a little bit of a deep drop right there into the creek right there. Nikki and I are gonna go ahead and start our stroll, but I did wanna give everybody a heads up about this particular park. Um, it is not a state park. It is a local park, which is really nice. Uh, it is uh, dog friendly. They do ask that you keep your dogs leashed though, because it's a really popular hike for like toddlers uh, because it's not super strenuous. And also there are no bathrooms. So definitely keep that in mind. Make sure that you guys go before you get here because last thing you need to do is go, oh my gosh, I gotta go pee, and there's no place to do it. In the summertime, there are always kids down in here playing in the creek. Makes it a really fun place for kids and for the dogs, because let's face it, I mean, they get in there too. What do you think, Nick? You happy? Are we gonna show them your favorite place here? As you can see, there's these little bridges all throughout this little park that will let you go right across and not get stuck having to wade through any of the creeks. There's always these fun little places for you to be able to sit down if you want to take a break, have a nice little picnic lunch. Of course, he's not going to go on that. He thinks he is, but <laughs> that one's a little too high. Let's go this way, buddy. He is dying to get into the water, which we're probably not going to do today because it's still a little bit chilly here in Pittsburgh. Come this way, Nick. As you can see, we're gonna go off the main path just a little bit. Because right down through here is always a really fun destination when it's really warm out, which it will be very soon. As you can see, when we have a little bit more rainfall, that little stream, the waterfall right there, ends up being really, really fun to go sliding down on your bottom. Here is the smaller of the two waterfalls that you can find here at Fall Run Park. Nick is more interested in throwing rocks than actually paying any attention to what we're doing. As you can see, nice little stream right here going down into that little waterfall. It's a little on the deep side right there, so you do want to be a little careful, Nikki. I said to be careful. This child has no fear. And you can actually climb up that if you would choose to, but it's pretty wet right now, so we'll probably just go back, take the main trail, because we don't want to completely have ridiculously muddy shoes by the time we get done with this trip. Who else has a child that has to take the path less traveled? Oh, you almost dunked it. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Now, the great thing about this particular park is it is located just a few miles outside of downtown Pittsburgh, believe it or not. This oasis is literally only, what, six miles or so? I'm gonna put it down here below, right, right here, right here, you'll be able to see that. Uh, how many miles it is outside of uh, downtown Pittsburgh, so that's really nice. Uh, it is free parking, so you don't have to worry about that. It's literally, I don't know, maybe even a fourth of a mile off of State Route 8, and basically if you see the uh, Three Rivers Harley-Davidson shop, uh, it's on the one side of the road, literally on the opposite, sorry, little chipmunk just scared me. <laughs> Uh, literally on the opposite side is Fall Run Road, and you're here. So if you see the uh, bright orange building that says Three Rivers Harley-Davidson, right across the street from that is the uh, place that you need to go to in order to get over here to Fall Run Road and Fall Run Park. I always thought that this little section right here would be so pretty to get some prom photos done. We go up just a little bit further. And if you don't have a super long dress, <laughs> but this is absolutely beautiful right after a rainfall. There's only a little bit of drops coming down right now, but right after a rain, this is really pretty. Huh, buddy? He was told if he didn't keep his feet dry, he wasn't allowed to go to his favorite playground. He's doing a pretty good job keeping his feet dry while still getting as much time around that water as he possibly can. I love that I get to be up here on this nice path. It has some rocks in it and stuff, but it's still pretty easy to navigate. Fairly flat. And I get to watch him be his monkey self and burn off all of his energy, jumping from rock to rock down there in the stream. <laughs> Hey, Nick, are we gonna go see the waterfall? Why? Mm -hmm. Waterfall? Why? Okay, let's go see the waterfall. He completely bypassed the waterfall. Nikki, we're gonna go see the waterfall. Okay, time to see the waterfall. As you can see, certain someone doesn't have to do laundry. So I love that somebody has put the Moana spiral right here. I think that's amazing. And then right here is the waterfall. Not too shabby for being only a few miles from downtown Pittsburgh, don't you think? Now I will say it can be a lot bigger especially after a rain or in the early spring when we have a lot of uh, snowfall, it'll end up being a lot bigger than this. It can also get down to nothing more than a trickle if we're having a drought. But a lot of people like to come here and they like to play in this, the water here, whether it's in the runoff right there or right through here. There's some deeper spots, so it's really fun to kind of just play and hang out. And it's one of the coolest places that you can come heat-wise in the summertime if you want to cool off and enjoy a little bit of nature. So this is one of our favorite not-so-hidden gyms to come and relax and play in. Huh, Nick? Now, you can actually go up a little bit further. There are some more trails. Uh, there's a hollowed out tree that sometimes the fairies come to visit and just a lot of other fun things that you can do up on the top side of the waterfall. 
but we've got some other things that we're wanting to do today so we're not going to go up in that way today but that's a great place for you to come and explore next time that you come to Fall Run Park. Oh, he decided to be a troll on the bridge instead of under the bridge. <laughs> And now he's a troll under the bridge. Where did he go? There he is. I'm not helping you, dirty monkey. Dirty monkey. Yep, you're the monkey. I think this would be a really great place to bring a Cub Scout or a Boy Scout troop. Let them play for a little while and then have them all sit down and then have presenters here on this rock as they talk about different things for what activities they're trying to learn. I think that would be a whole lot of fun. I'm sure it's probably done too. I just haven't. It's been a few years since we've had Cub Scouts. Nikki hasn't gotten started into it yet. What do you think, bud? I think you're well and truly stuck. And the shoes are officially soaked. <laughs> now, I do want to make sure that everybody is aware that just because there's not a whole lot of people on my video of this part of our video of Fall Run Park, doesn't mean that it doesn't get really busy here. So after school, on the weekends, it can get really busy. I've also been trying to make sure that I don't get people into my videos because I don't want to have them in there if they don't want to be in there. You know, I mean, we're all here to, whether it's to exercise, whether it's to reconnect with nature, spend a little bit of time with our monkeys, because let's face it, he's the biggest monkey that there is, I think. <laughs> Yes, I do have that child that makes it as difficult as possible on himself. I wonder where he gets that from. Hey. Hey. Did you have fun? <laughs> yeah, did you? Fun? Oh, done. Oh, you're taking photos. Okay, please stop that. Hey, Nick. Hey. Did you have fun? You have fun? Yeah. So here's our parking area, and literally right over there is where you can get over to the falls. But they also have this really nice little basketball court, if that's something that you're interested in. You can play some basketball. There's also some rope courses that they have here, which just a couple of ropes and stuff up in the trees, but it kind of gets you a feel for what it might be like to do trapeze. So that's always fun. And a bench if you wanted to sit there. I guess there is one lone Porta John right there, but there's also a soccer field. So you can definitely play some soccer. And right at the entrance of the park, they do have this little gazebo and this little playground area. So if you wanted to bring your kid out, play at the playground for a while, and then go on into the fall run and cool off, you could do that. But there she is, Fall Run Park. And just as a heads up, it is a stoplight. Woohoo! So you can stop here. Uh, no turn on red, obviously, but right across the street is the Three Rivers Harley Davidson. And here 
here we are at the Allegheny River Trail Park. And isn't that one of the most unique play areas you've ever seen? This little park is a perfect place to have a little picnic. Now, Nick has already left me. He's playing over there. But right over there, there's the truck. Very easy place to come have a nice little picnic on the grass, and then let the kiddos play. So this is officially the Allegheny River Trail Park, and this is dedicated in memory of Charles Burke. Now this is in Aspenwall, right on the river. You can actually see on the other side of the train bridge is Highland Park Bridge. Give you an idea of where this is located. Now, we tend to enjoy the playground the most, which is what you just saw. But we also like coming over here and going for a walk. Which, I don't know how much walking we're going to do today because his shoes haven't dried out yet. So, he had a little too much fun at Fall Run Park. We'll do a little bit of walking over here. There is a pretty decent boardwalk. It needs a couple boards replaced, but that's okay. There's also all of this green space over here, which we really enjoy. Maybe you want to take a nice picnic or lay down and take a nap in the sun. This is a great place to do it. That's generally on the quieter side. Nobody's over here right now, so I'm kind of being as loud as I want to be and letting him be as loud as he wants to be so that we can burn off some energy. Here's a flower garden, and right on the other side of that tree, they do have these loungers. So if you want to kind of lounge, maybe watch the butterflies or the birds, because they do have a bird box right there for you for your enjoyment. There's also a big mound here which I have no idea what it is used for, but Nick absolutely loves running up and down this thing. I do not. As you can see, I'm gonna take the more sloped side to get up here and give you guys a better vantage point of the area. Yes, I see you, turkey. <laughs> I do have this platform up here. I have no idea why. Leave in the comments why for me if you do know why. You're local. Right over there, this happens to be the dog park. Really like it's completely fenced in. It goes on back a ways. Do please clean up after your pets, but plenty of things for them to do and play and run right here in Aspenwall. Right down here is kind of what looks like a stage area. I'm not quite sure if they actually use it for that or not, but makes for a great place for the kids to kind of run and just have some fun. Actually, there is, It says the octave, Mallory, Sarah, Becca, David, Emily, Haley, Ben, and Claire. Let's say on this other side, Octave what? Hill Riverside Stage. Okay. So they call the hill Octave Hill, buddy. We didn't know that. And this is the Octave Hill Stage. This is such a beautiful park. We actually really enjoy coming here. It's almost always quiet unless there's an event over there in the events building. And as you can see, there's a few quirks here that I just don't understand. Like why there's a raised platform right here. Maybe it's for people to sit on. But the reservoir is pretty empty, so I don't know if that's it or not. I also can't wait until they put the hammocks back out for the season. I think those are very interesting hammock 
holders there. And then a couple more lounge chairs overlooking the Allegheny River. Now the great thing is, if you are wanting to kayak or sup board, you're not quite sure if it's something that's for you, you don't want to spend the money on your own kayak because let's face it, I think they start out at like $250 a piece now. And that's for like your eight foot small ones that really aren't all that great. So come down here in the summer, rent one, see what it's like, see if it's something that you enjoy. So right over here, that is a boat launch area. I believe it is only for smaller boats, like your kayaks, set boards and things. I've never seen a larger boat go in and out of there. Doesn't mean that it doesn't happen though. Now right over here, this is the main building. They do have restrooms, which are actual flush toilets, which is great that you can go into during the day. There's also a couple of meeting spaces inside. Some funky things like <laughs> that platform that Nick thinks is a swing. You'll see a lot of people sitting on those in the afternoon. Nikki, please get down. Get down. Uh-huh. Keep going. Yeah, but watch. Well, this might be interesting. Hope he did it. There you go, you got on the platform. Yay! Over here, now I have seen, I believe it was a wedding a couple of weeks ago. There's also been some other events. Uh, there is a group that last summer was coming out once or twice a week and was drumming in here. Acoustics are awesome, by the way. On the back side of the building, they do have a pier. It is Bill's Dock. You can go out and use it. Nikki, come here. We're not going to do that today. Um, they do ask that you not swim. If you're under 12, you have to have an adult with you and can't leave fishing lines and stuff. But if you do want to go fishing, you could certainly do that. Just make sure you have your PA license with you and be considerate of everybody else here. You can also rent slips if you do have a boat and you want to keep it in the water for the summer. Fun place to come and do that. And then we're right back over to the play area. Possibly one of the most unique play areas. And of course, Nick is doing what he's not supposed to do, but I've given up arguing with him. There's three slides and so much fun. So you can actually go up inside of his head. Oh, there's Nick. Hey, Nicky. You want to show them how to get up in here? Come around this way. Show them how to do the ladder. No, you don't want to do the ladder. You want to go up a slide. You're being very contrary today for our mommy and son day. Yes, you are. Where is he? Here he is. He's gonna come sliding down the hand, the arm to the hand. What are you doing? Slide down. Braver than I am, kid. <laughs> He's going to go down the feet. <laughs> there he goes. Now this playground is by Tom Otterness and was a gift to the children and families of Pittsburgh as part of the Grable Foundation. And probably the most unique playground we have ever had the privilege of playing at with one of the best views because right there is the Allegheny River. 
but he's so much fun. Monkey, I don't think that's how you use slides. Yeah, you gotta go up the ladder. You wanna go up the ladder? We also like to count and see how many of these guys we can find, huh? One. One. Go up there and see how many there are. Because as you'll see, they're everywhere. Where'd he go? He's hiding. Nikki, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You gonna come down? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> His hand. And a little guy just having some fun, chillaxing in his hand. Is that your friend? You've got a friend in your eyeball and in your mouth. He's trying to climb in. <laughs> Go. You got another friend that's climbing up in there. There he is. Hi, Nick. Hi. <laughs> I will say these slides go incredibly fast. So just make sure that you have a good hold on your little ones or do what they recommend and have it for kids ages five to 12 years of age. Because this one moves, somebody. Huh, you gonna go? Wow, good job. Somebody thinks he's sneaking up on me. Is he gonna go? Is he gonna go? Or are you gonna take a nap? <laughs> he says, I'm not gonna take a nap. Whew. No, thank you. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. Well, everybody, I think it's time for us to wrap up our Mommy and Sunday video. You gonna go play one more time? One more slide. We had so much fun doing this today and I'm really glad that we got to bring you along and kind of show you a couple of the uh, favorite parks that we have right here in the local Pittsburgh area. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more videos like this of things that you can do locally within the Pittsburgh region, definitely let us know by leaving a comment. Also like this video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And with all that being said, are you guys ready for your next Plum Crazy adventure? Because we're certainly ready to get you there. Bye-bye, everybody.